if that nut ever comes off for me then I deserve it to come off because there's no way I could get it any tighter. I've tried an impact driver on it as well and that just doesn't have enough torque to turn it with that current setup. It's just impossible so just tighten it as hard as you possibly can, that's all I can say. Um, next up are these shells. Uh, I wasn't sure where these went actually when I took mine apart they just fell out and I understand why they fell out now but they do go Ooh, I'll take that off, you can see like a little recess on there and those shells sit in there I might need tapping in because they're pretty tight these things and the other one Mary's up on the other side I'm going to have to tap that in, I did last time because they're brand new, these part of the service kit. And this is more or less a retaining, retaining ring and that should slide over there, it needs a little bit of more of a tap on. But that should go over there and hold them in place. Next up we have the bearing collars which need to go on here. Um, you need to heat them up as well, I need to wait until I've got that new steak nut on there to go first of all um, I'm going to heat them up and slide them over here and then that should all be ready to go back in the boxes and we're almost there so this is where I'm at I've um, got the back case on, extension case main case, whatever you want to call it uh, the rest of it is assembled I've got it locked in, in the two gears here I've also gone uh, for a fifth gear lock as well so you can manipulate these at the moment now you've got them on the right way you can manipulate them take them out of gear and mess around with them and then you can put them back in and align everything when you need to at the end but this is just so I can put the tab nut on here uh, which I'm waiting for hopefully come this afternoon and with the casing on it keeps all the gears aligned and locked together and you can tighten that nut as hard as you possibly can uh, then I've got two slave bolts holding this in probably should use more but two should do for now because I've stripped a couple of them so that's pretty much it, the casing once I've got this um, nut tied on properly I have to take the casing back off um, get it out of gear sort the selector rail out so it's all in neutral and then put some gasket seal on between the two extensions, centre plate and the extension and then put it all back together again and then look to put the front part on and you get these collars on as well um, before I put the front case on but I'm hoping that the I'm going to use the slave bolts again once I've got the actual gasket sealant on I'll use the slave bolts just to temporarily hold it all together uh, while I faff about getting these on and then maybe tomorrow um, when the sealant's dried I'll come along and sort the rest of it out and take the slave bolts out the sealant should hold it all together while I finish up and put the sealant on for the front extension so hopefully that's it I'm a little bit nervous because again it's doing what it did last time I assembled it whereby the tolerances are so fine that when I turn the input shaft when it's in neutral the output shaft is still turning I'm hoping that when I've got the spool retainers in uh, place and everything is lined up I'm hoping that it will remain in a neutral state but I am a bit wary of it I've got to be said because it happened before this and I don't know why so we'll see what happens and hopefully we're almost there but I said that last time I said that about five days ago so see how that goes, uh, the extension case is pretty much sorted out, um, not much to do in there, there's some dirt in there already, the blooming plant seed have floated one of those things in, uh, again I'll grease all this stuff up, It'll give it a good uh, start in life, uh, I need to get the filter on and that's about it, so these are all the bits left to go on more or less spools uh, that needs to go on with the extension in one otherwise you get snookered and you can't get it on so that needs to go on and then that's pretty much it that's where all the bits used to be and hopefully that's where the bits all are fingers crossed it all works out right first time because I'm committed this time 
I'm not taking that thing apart again. I'm going to put the colours on and that's it. I'm done.